Alright guys, we are back. We are reassembling an LG rumor or scoop. We've already done the top part here. One, two, three, four, five, and six screws have been put back in place. There are some caps right here. Little tiny plastic ones that go over it, make your phone look a little bit more flush with it, but I'm not too worried about those today. They're really only for aesthetic value. Okay? Take this piece right here. Take your flex cable. It's going to slide right through there. Did want to take this time to let everybody know these are for sale. We sell them on eBay. They're $60. This is the actual screens themselves for replacement. And if you need any help with the assembly, I definitely can do it. Modern underscore communications. They're 60 bucks plus shipping, and we do send them up to Canada. Now, we're going to put three more screws back into place to hold the slide. One, two, and three. It is important that we do those three because there's a couple other screw holes here. We are not going to use those at this point in time. They're used on the next level. These are the very small silver screws. These screws can only be used on this particular area of the phone, so you want to make sure you use the right screws at the right point in time. Okay, now we have put the actual slide mechanism back on, put our keypad into place, not a big deal, it just drops right in. So now we've got the slide back in, okay? Our flex cable right here, that is where the motherboard is actually going to connect to the LCD. That is the connector right there. It actually just snaps right into place. It's just a matter of getting it, finagling it to the right area. Okay. As long as I've been putting phones together, I've never found a trick that will make this any easier. Except for just getting it to snap in at the right angle. There we go. Now, at this point in time, don't want to lose our keys there. Can't tell you how many phones I've put together and left the keypads out of. It's very frustrating. Alright. Now, there's a small latch right here. I'm going to just push the motherboard right underneath that. It'll la latch it into place. And I believe there's another one up here. You'll feel it latch when you put it in. Make sure your buttons are in the right area. Right there. One, two. And three, four. Right there and right there. It should just push right to the back end and you can just take your actual buttons themselves and slide them back into place. Alright. At this point you've actually got your back piece. We're getting relatively close to being done here. The one thing we need to do is we need to secure the motherboard. Okay, we'll take the two screws from this level. We have a screw hole right here. In the center of the board. That locks that part in place. And we have a second one right here. It is easy to forget those, so make sure you don't. If they are important, the phone will not work properly without it. So you have a screw hole here and a screw hole here. Both of those have been put into place. Now, you'll want to take your buttons, put them back at the appropriate places. I'm not too concerned about that today. It's just a matter of finagling it. Now, take your actual back piece to your phone. What I typically recommend is going in from the top, latch in, go here at snap, and then just push all the way around. It will snap into place. You have one, two, three, four, five, six screws you have to put back in. Fairly easy to do. They should screw right in. You will need to make sure that all of these screws are left, are put into the proper level of the phone, because there are different sizes for different levels of the phone, which is why I recommend keeping them separated out as you do it. Okay? So after you have installed one, two, three, four, five, six screws, your phone should be completely assembled again. Make sure you've got your buttons in the right places. They just got small, they slide right into place. You want to do that at as you're putting in the back piece. If you have any questions, you can email me at crane.walker, C-R-A-N-E dot W-A-L-K-E-R at gmail.com. Also on eBay, modern, M-O-D-E-R-N underscore communications. Just remind everybody that we do sell these. They are $60 plus shipping. If you have any questions, don't hesitate. Just let me know.